A bit of info on, on uh, Katy Perry. Katy Hudson she was and um, released that gospel album. Which sold bugger all. No one knew her. I certainly didn't. And uh, then she, she had, uh, I think it is actually two albums after that which were never released. I think there's actually two apparently. One of them's got the song "Living on a Living in, Outside of a Box" on it, and you can get those unreleased stuff on YouTube. But uh, the breakthrough comes with "I Kissed a Girl" and I liked it with um, one of the boys' the album. And she releases "Teenage Dream," which is repackaged as a complete confection with some extra tracks. Then it's on to Prism and then Witness. And she's probably got a new album due soon enough. But she just had a song released from Zed called 365, which is a, 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 a robot, um, which uh, is learning hugging issues. <laughs> um, Dad is Morris Keith or Keith Morris Hudson and um, Pentecostal preacher he was, uh, he is I suppose, and, uh, comes from a Christian home, so um, I guess she knows a little. She's black haired, raven haired beauty, she's a classic woman's figure, you know, with an hourglass shaped to a degree. She's pretty hot. She's pretty cute. She's been a big success, not just one of these pop stars which comes and goes pretty quickly. Um, hasn't had quite the award success which Taylor Swift has had, but she's had the um, chart success. And she equaled Michael Jackson's record for five number ones from an album. I think Michael Jackson did that twice with Thriller and Bad, and she equaled that with Teenage Dream, which had five number one singles in the US. And the one which got away was the one that got away. You know, so that's the classic irony of that. But, um, pretty strong album as well, good singles on it. Uh, don't be surprised, she will still rise. She's beyond all the archetypes in her own words, in her music anyway. She does uh, American Idol, I think it is. I think it's American Idol, which she's a judge on. And I think she's probably quite suited to that. Um, she is, uh, she is pretty cool, and I think she, she generally would know what she's doing on that show. She'd be suited to that sort of stuff. And I, I have a feeling with Katy Perry, from all the uh, times I've seen her on, um, Facebook on her posts on Facebook and uh, she posts American Idol stuff on Facebook um, she's a good encourager for the, the contestants she's um uh, I suppose if, if she's got a ministry of the Holy Spirit which Pentecostals talk about having ministries she's probably very good as an encourager uh, someone who can encourage someone well and lift them up I think um, Katie has that in spades She's a, she's a good supporter. She's a, she's a merciful sort of lady and uh, she's a good encourager and a good uh, inspirer. I think Katy Perry is probably very good at inspiring people to accomplish. And um, when it comes right down to it in life, um, personally I think you know, you're better off trying to accomplish something out of it all. And she's good at encouraging people to do that. She's pretty. Good looking girl. Um, she's not really a 10 out of 10. She's probably about an 8 out of 10. In other words, really quite, quite, quite good looking girl. Um, prettier in younger years. Still pretty today, but she's aged a little bit. Maybe more of a 7 today. Um, I'll be honest about it. I'm quite keen on her. 
Well, I think she's getting married to Orlando Bloom soon enough. And she was married to Russell Brand, the British comedian. Lasted a, a while, but they got divorced. But she's marrying Orlando Bloom, who was formerly married to Australian model Miranda Kerr. I think they had one, at least one kid with her. They had one kid in their marriage. At least one. But she's planning children with Orlando, and even though the, there was a time in the relationship where she, it wasn't going anywhere, because she didn't want to cross, across LA, just, she didn't feel going all the way across to Orlando's house at the other side of LA was really, really, it wasn't really working for her, but, um, it's worked out, and, uh, looks like she's found, um, a solid mate by the looks of it. Someone who's um, a popular enough fellow in his own right. Orlando's very popular as an actor. Uh, Legolas in The Lord of the Rings, of course, and uh, I'm not sure of his pirate's name, but uh, alongside Johnny Depp in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. So Orlando is a very well established actor, very well known, and uh, they're big famous celebrities, of course, aren't they? But Katy Perry's music is solid enough pop music. It doesn't really go into any other genres terribly much. The first album is gospel, I suppose, but it's pop gospel. Pop rock, pop rock sort of gospel. But she's solidly a pop artist with uh, traditional, standard enough pop tunes. They're of a higher caliber than a lot of the other tunes in the charts a lot of the time. She doesn't give this a kind of sales success because she's releasing crap. She's releasing quality pop music. And um, if you just, uh, if, you, if you like, need critical music for, for your collection, intellectual sort of stuff, and I suppose don't really bother too much with Katy Perry. But if you like, like decent enough pop music, if, if that's okay in your sort of collecting music, she's quite good. Um, a bit of info about Katy Perry. There you go.